everybody, it's Chaz Wooden. We are just going to talk a little bit today about Modern Horizons 2, also known as the Set of Death. Um, so, for those of you who don't know, I play a deck in Legacy that hinges around uh, three combos. Uh, it's the Leyline Helm, plus Dark Depths combo, and as well as Storm. So, with the first cards out in Modern Horizons, I was actually pretty, pretty excited to talk about uh, <laughs> how pretty much all of them seem like they could slot in pretty naturally to the deck. I mean, there's not a whole lot of flex spots, but um, I mean, Urza's Saga is a land, so let's talk about that first. Uh, it's a saga called Urza's Saga, a little on the nose, but comes into play, you tap it. You get a colorless mana, and uh, the second phase, is you tap it to create a 0-0 colorless construct artifact creature token. It gets plus one, plus one for every artifact you control. And then lastly, you get to search your library for an artifact card with mana cost zero or one. So the obvious target there is Lion's Eye Diamond. And, uh, or, Brainstone, which is uh, the next card I'm going to talk about, but I mean, talking about the applications of that, uh, yeah, you lose the land, they can target it with enchantment removal, but in death, I mean, we're trying to win by no later than, you know, turn three, turn four, and turn one if possible, but if you don't have a Lion's Eye Diamond, but you do have an Urza Saga, and the hand is, you know, one of those situations where it's like, man, this hand would be great if I had a Lion's Eye Diamond, those could turn into keeps um, rather than a mulligan. So I guess what I'm trying to say is hope that nobody plays Wasteland or Enchantment Removal throw in a couple of Urza Sagas. Probably not a whole bunch, because I think Ancient Tomb is still going to be a little bit stronger in that spot. Uh, but i definitely going to test that out. Next one is Brainstone. So, you know, any black combo deck that is not using blue like Storm or Tendrils, where you're brainstorming, pondering, doing all the things to draw cards and cycle through your deck. Um, this actually gives black a way for a, a little bit of card selection. And I think that is pretty busted. It being an artifact with uh, all the artifact recursion out there, I mean, it seems pretty broken, to be honest. Um, so yeah, you do need to spend, th put three mana into it. It does have to survive a turn. You can't use it the turn it comes into play. So I'm not saying it's a brainstorm, because it's not, it's a brain stone. Another card I am pretty excited to test out in death. Um, you know, those flex spots can easily turn into brainstones and a end of turn sack and look for some look for some cards. Um, I guess it would have to change some of the internal structure of the mana base because if you don't have really have any shuffle effects, it doesn't really help you a whole lot to look at the top three cards of your deck. So may if you are considering testing Brainstone in death, I would definitely recommend running some number of fetch lands um, to accommodate for that. Um, lastly, we have a Diamond Lion, which, uh, you know, is an obvious choice here. We've got a creature, tax for two, can hang out with our Hex Mages. And then uh, can also sack it for three mana of any color. So, um, which is an interesting sort of concept because, you know, eight Black Lotus effects in the deck, yeah, they all make you discard your hand. It's sort of um, one of my all time favorite cards that uh, I've just been waiting, waiting to strike with, although I think it's bugged on Magic Online, is. Gusta's Scepter. So let's take a second and just read Gusta's Scepter. Zero cost artifact and essentially you can tap it to put a card from your hand face down under Gusta's Scepter. And then you can look at that card at any time. Then you can also tap Gusta's Scepter 
to return any card exiled in this fashion back to your hand. So that's a pretty cool interaction when you can, you know, once per turn put a card into your hand and then get the value from Lion's Eye Diamond or Diamond Lion and play those cards. So, so far it's just not been good enough because you have to essentially spend a card that does nothing and it was only working with Lion's Eye Diamonds. But I would test that out again, but only under any circumstance. So that sums it up. We've got Counterspell going into Modern, don't care. Sanctum Prelate going into Modern, don't care. Um, and then the Fetch Lands. And then Dak and Backblade. Is it Blackblade? It's Blackblade. So some interesting spoilers so far. The set, um, I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty bonkers. But Death is poised to take over the meta. And if you're curious or more about death, you can check out a couple of my streams that I do uh, on Twitch as Traz Whitten. Those are death streams and uh, I stream it all the time. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this little breakdown and my two cents on the spoilers thus far, Subscribe. Do it, do it, do it. To do it, do it. Do it, do it, do it. To do it, do it.